Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following question. It says draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degrees. So let's now move on to the solution. And let's do the construction. The first step of construction is to take a point O draw a circle of radius 5 which is 5 cm. So we have drawn a circle with radius 5 cm and OA is the radius which is 5 cm. Now the next step is produce OA to B such that OA equal to AB equal to 5 cm. So we have produced OA to B where AB is 5 cm which is equal to OA that is 5 cm. Now the next step is with A as center and radius AO equal to AB equal to 5 cm draw a circle Intersecting the first circle at points P and Q. Here we have drawn a circle with radius AB equal to OA equal to 5 cm and the circle intersects the first circle at the points P and Q. Now the next step is join BP and BQ to get the required tangents. So BP and BQ are the required tangents which are inclined at each other at an angle of 60 degrees. That is angle PBQ is 60 degrees. Now we'll justify that angle PBQ is 60 degrees. Now for justification, join AP and OP So we have joined AP and OP and here we see that OP is equal to OA since the radii of the given circle Also, OA is equal to OP since AP is the radius of the circle with center A and 
circle with center A has radius 5 cm. So this is 5 cm, this is also 5 cm and this is also 5 cm. So in triangle OAP we have OA is equal to OP is equal to 5 cm because they are the radii of the given circle and also AP is equal to 5 cm because it's the radius of the circle with center A. Therefore, OA is equal to OP is equal to AP. Therefore, triangle OAP is an equilateral triangle. Since all the sides are equal, therefore, angle PAO, that is this angle, is 60 degrees, right? So, angle PAP, angle PAP, that is this angle, will be 120 degrees since a linear pair. Therefore, angle BAP is 120 degrees. Now, in triangle BAP, BA is equal to AP. BA is equal to AP since it's the radial radii of the circle with center A and it has radius 5 cm and angle BAP is 120 degrees therefore angle ABP is equal to angle A, P, B because these are the angles opposite to the equal sides and we know that angles opposite the equal sides are equal. Now in triangle BAP angle ABP plus angle ABB plus angle BAP is equal to 180 degrees. Angle APB plus angle BAP plus angle APB is 180 degrees as we know that the sum of angles of triangle is 180 degrees. Now ABP is equal to APB and angle BAP is 120 degrees. So this implies twice of angle ABP is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So this implies twice of angle ABP is equal to 60 degrees and this implies angle ABP is equal to 30 degrees. 
So angle ABP is 30 degrees and angle ABP is equal to angle ABB. So this is also 30 degrees. Now similarly we'll join OQ and OA and then we'll consider the triangle BAQ. So we have joined OQ and AQ and again this will be a equilateral triangle that is triangle AQO will be equilateral triangle and this angle would be 120 degrees and then considering the triangle ABQ we will get that angle ABQ would be 30 degrees so similarly join OQ and AQ and consider triangle BAQ or ABQ that is this triangle will get angle ABQ equal to 30 degrees now angle ABP that is PBA plus angle QBA that is ABQ is equal to 30 degrees plus 30 degrees that is 60 degrees and angle PBA angle PBA plus angle QBA is angle PBQ so both the tangents are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degrees hence proved This completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.